Welcome to a longer video on Brewster's Angle Boom. Okay, let me show you the setup. I'm gonna show you everything because I'm not rushed anymore. I have right here a green laser pointer. And that green laser pointer comes down here and hits this piece of glass. And I'll show you this in just a second after I take the whole thing apart because it's actually pretty cool too. And then that light reflects off the glass and onto this little screen and we get a dot. Yay. Okay. Now, if I take my polarizer and I put it in front of the laser, the light goes away almost exactly. So in short, what's happening is that light is polarized by this polarizer and then the polarization is all, it's also polarized by reflection off of the glass in a perpendicular polarization such that you get no light coming off of it at all. And this is why uh, we have sun, polarized sunglasses. They're set up to block reflected light off of horizontal surfaces. And so just so you can see that it's not a trick, if I change the, the angle of the laser, the dot comes back, right? So it's only at a particular angle, uh, and we call this Brewster's angle, that light reflects and is polarized. And if I take the light, the light away, that's fine. Okay, so let's just double check something. Uh, what if I just don't, what if I have the laser going straight to the, the screen, and I put this right here, and I polarize it. Let's just see two polarizers through the laser. So there it's polarized, it doesn't really look that much different. I'm gonna take my second polarizer, I'm gonna put it right here, and then I can rotate that until the dot goes away, or almost away. I can get it all, I can go all the way if I block it with my hand, but I don't wanna do that. Okay, so there's two ways to completely block light. You could have two polarizers or one polarizer and a reflected surface. Now, another important point about this whole demo, some lasers are already polarized. I didn't know that until I tried it with a red laser and it didn't work. I tried it with this green laser and this green laser does work. So if you wanna see if your laser is polarized, you can get sunglasses, it doesn't matter. So if I just take this single lens and I rotate it, uh, nothing should happen to that dot, right? If it is polarized, just rotating the lens, the polarized lens would change the intensity of that dot. Okay, now I wanna show you one more thing because this is something that's been on my list forever. This device right here, it has two rotating pieces of glass, okay? And what it's used for is for lab experiments with polarization because you can polarize light with this reflected glass and then get it to polarize in a different orientation with that reflected glass and you can measure things. And so there's an actually angle measurement over here too for a light source. So you would change the angle that the light source hits this and then you would, these are measurable too, so you can change these angles and you can look at the intensity of polarized light. Because these polarized filters are much more modern. Uh, you know, back in 19, I don't even know when this is, it's old, look at this thing. Look at that. Look at it, it's old, okay. So let's say 1940, I don't know, I'm making up stuff. I mean, these things didn't exist. So you, you, if you wanna look at polarized light, you had to do it with this reflection. You couldn't do it with these polarized films. Okay, so I hope you like that. I might write up a, a, a blog about this too, but I thought that was fun. Bye.